Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be going over the Divi Number Counter Module. Alright, so if this is the first time watching one of these videos within this series, I'm actually creating videos on all of these different Divi modules, and I do have a discount to Divi that will get you at least 10% off, and that's WPWithTom.com slash Divi. So be sure to check that out if you're interested and subscribe if you want to see more of these Divi module videos. And with that out of the way, let's just dive into the Divi number counter module. So this right here is just a layout pack that comes within Divi. And I'm just going to go through the process of creating a simple number counter here on our site. So if I go down here, I'll add a new section and I'll add a specialty section right here. And here you have a variety of options. I'm actually just going to go with this one right here. And I'm going to have an image on the left side and basically two number counters on the right side of that image. So here I'm going to just search for number counter and I'll have that go in there in place. And what I'll do is I'll create this one and then I'll duplicate it to go over here. So you may have noticed that when I scroll, the site has a lot of orange on it. So I'm just going to make the number counter orange and I'll add an image that goes with this over here. So I'll just type in image within the module sections, insert an image module. And here I'll just put in an image that was already on the site. I'll just use this one right here since it's orange as well and upload the image. So over here on the right side, we can start making changes to our module itself. So let's go and click save right here and we'll go and click on this area that says module settings within this structure right here. So if we click on that, we can go in here and it says title. Your title goes here and we can add our title to our module here. So I'm just going to add customer satisfaction because that's a pretty common one that you might want to put here and I'll make it a nice high number like 98% customer satisfaction. So right down here, if you want it to not have the percentage sign on, you can just toggle that off. I'm going to leave the percentage sign on in this case, but the next example that I duplicate, I'll take that off. So right here, that's about all I'm going to do in the content section. If we go over to design, we can start editing some things within here. So if I go to title text, you can change the heading level right here. You can change the font. So let's go and use one that I've used recently. Let's go with Leto right here, which is a very common and popular font. And here I'm going to just go and make it bold so you can see the change go into effect right there. I like it. That's a little bit easier to read. Here you can change the alignment. You can add underlines or make it all capitalized or italic, something like that. I'm going to leave those as is. I'll make the title text size a little bit bigger. So let's just go with like 22 or something like that. Looks pretty good, I think. And the title text color, if you want to change that, I'm going to leave it as this darker color. But if you want to change that, you can do that there. You can add a box shadow or text shadow right here. I'm going to skip past that part for this and I'll move on to the actual number text itself. So that says light blue right here. You can see it right here. If I were to start changing this, so let's make this one also be Leto in this case. And then I'll also go and make it bold. So it's nice and basically flows with it. It's all the same font and the size with the bold right here. Again, you have different options in terms of the alignment and the styling for the font. I'm going to just go right here and click on this. And I'll try to find maybe like an orange that kind of goes with the site maybe a little bit better. Maybe I'll just go, I'll go with this right here. So this goes well with the site. If you wanted to, you can go and grab the color code from up here and get the exact same color. But this is close enough for this example. And I'm going to go and change the number text size. Maybe I'll make this like, I don't know, 80 looks pretty good, I guess. And I'll go with that. If you wanted to, you can add a number text shadow. And I just want to show you, I think this second one right here looks okay. And this third one looks pretty good. I think these ones are maybe a little too much for my liking right here. But I kind of like this second and third one. So if you want to add one, you can. I'm just going to leave it as is with that one right now. And I'll go down to where it says spacing right here. So what I want to do is I want to align this a little bit better. So I'm going to add some padding here at the top. So the padding at the top will push this down and make it more in line. So let's just go and add. We'll try 100 and see how that looks. Maybe a little too much, but it looks all right, I think. You can always adjust this as needed and get it to fit right. So I'm going to go with 80 in this case. So after that, we have other options. You can add a border, box, shadow. I don't think those go too well with this. And you can go down to animation. If you wanted to animate in, you could have it fade in. 
and you can have it slide in. I kind of like slide in. I think I'm going to leave it as is with this slide in. You can also change the duration and the delay of that slide in action if you want here. So I think it looks pretty good overall. I'm going to go and just click save changes right here. And then what I'm going to do is down here, I'm going to go and make sure that I duplicate this. And then I'll go and grab it down here and I'll drag it and drop it right up in here. So now we see that this module is also right here. If I go and I click on that, we can actually change things. So let's just say we wanted to say something else that's not a percentage. Let's go and make it say clients. So it's the number of clients you have. And I'll just put a random number in here, 176 clients. And it still says the percentage. So we got to go down and toggle this off. And now these are the same style overall. And it just has different text and different information in there. So you can go and save that and make it go into effect completely by saving it down here. And that's how you would add a quick Divi number counter module here. So I really hope that you liked this quick video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe for more WordPress and Divi related tutorials. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.